everybody on YouTube. This is Anastasia. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's been a while since I've done any new videos because I've been waiting for your suggestions. And so I had to come up with some, oh, some suggestions on my own. You know, I couldn't wait any longer because a lot of people have sent me emails, not suggestions, but just commenting on my videos saying that they like the way I speak about business and about um, my particular company that I'm with, uh, Luca and um, they want to know some business tips. So today's topic, um, we're going to talk about finding that quality customer or that uh, quality business builder. Well, what is a quality customer? Well, let me tell you what a quality customer is. First of all, what you stand for in your business, your motto, which is your uh, business mission statement, is going to have to match your customer or business builder. So if you're all about health, um, you want to find a customer that's about health and is not a smoker, or a person who drinks, or or a person who's abusive to their bodies that you know they don't care about getting better or or or, or taking the necessary precautions of getting better uh, to prevent cancer or to prevent some type of sickness or ailment. Um, a quality business builder is a person who matches your mission statement, who wants to achieve success and have goals of their own they want to achieve. And my opinion in that is um, basically customers um, end up being business builders later on down the road. Not all of them, just some of them. And that's why you can't give up on them because people tend to change their mind. I mean, one moment in their life, the timing is right you know and the next moment timing is wrong so you don't know until you approach them with your business concept and present to them the opportunity to become a customer or the opportunity to be a business builder so that's the differences in being a quality customer and a quality business builder now if you're about environmental wellness um, again your mission statement has to basically be matched with your customer and they're all about recycling, they're about going green, using clean, uh, safe products in their home. Um, they don't use chemicals, they stay away from bleach, from phosphates, from aerosols, anything that could practically trigger, you know, asthma or bronchitis or their illness. You know, they, they shop on a regular basis and they don't buy that kind of product. They like to shop at Whole Foods stores. They like to shop at places like, uh, uh, um, places that have organic products. And then you can tell, you know, by asking them these questions. And you got to know the right art form, because it is an art form in network marketing, to speak to them in a way that it you asking them the right questions. And then they can end up telling you what their hot button is. And that's something that deep down is a feeling inside them that they know is going to um, have you have a solution for their problem. So that is about finding the quality customer and finding the business builder now how do you keep them well first of all you have to build a relationship in order to keep a good quality customer you need to establish a business relationship that person needs to make sure that they can count on you to answer their questions they need to count on you that you're going to answer the phone every time they call they need to count on you if they have a testimonial and they like to share it with you and also if they have any problems or concerns with the company that you'll be able to get on the phone with them and talk with the company and speak with them um, on three-way. That's a quality customer and keeping them as a quality customer and your loyalty to them is, is astounding because they can count on you. Traditional business, you don't have loyalty customers. People come in the door, they shop, they buy what they need, they're out, they're gone. They don't come back until like maybe a few weeks from now. Quality business builders. Quality business builders are people who you can are coachable, trainable. They listen. They learn from you. You're doing what you're supposed to do, but they are copying you. So that's called duplication. They can copy it. And it's simple, and you keep it simple for them to understand and do. Um, quality business builder put in the time that they need to build a business. Um, they don't dabble around. They're serious. They want to put in those hours and work store hours making phone calls, booking appointments, prospecting people, making sure that they're constantly out there showing the ship and doing the business like they're supposed to. And they can count on you as a leader or their upline support to train them. 
to coach them, to give them simple skills to learn from network marketing to apply in their own business. Because it doesn't make sense to bring in a business builder that you have to babysit. You have to walk by the hand and drag them. That's not building a business. You have to teach them to be leaders themselves so that they one day can do it because that's what you call time leverage. You can help them be leaders of their own and then one day they'll be able to go out on their own and do the business themselves with or without you. So that's what you want to work for in a quality business builder. Somebody who can take the reins of you know, the business and go, I'm going to do this. I don't need you. I'm going to do this. But I do need your help to teach me the skills that I need because you're not a born network marketer. You're a made network marketer. Get it straight. You need to learn the skills in network marketing to build a foundation in your business. It doesn't come overnight. It is a process, a journey that you have to stick with without giving up. That mentality, those goals that you had in mind when you first enrolled in your business, you need to go back to them and remind yourself, why am I doing the business? Why did I get involved in the first place? Why is it not working for me? Is it something that I'm doing wrong? Or am I doing something right but I'm just not quite getting it? Maybe I need to go back to the beginning and start all over. Nothing wrong with that. If you bought a franchise of a KFC, a Taco Bell, a Burger King, or a McDonald's, you can't invest $147,000 in that franchise and then, oh, it didn't work. The franchise didn't come out right. The burger didn't come out right. It didn't work and nobody bought and then start all over. You just lost your money. You had risk involved. You can be bankrupt and you pretty much end up, you know, being in a poor house because you spent almost $147,000 or more in a franchise because you want to do it their way, do it their, their way, their systematic way, follow their way, but it didn't work for you. Network marketing is different. You can start all over as many times as you need to, but keep in mind why you're doing the business. What is your prime focus, your prime goal to doing the business to get you to work? It can't be about money. That's not what it's about. It can't be about money. It never was in the beginning for you because you saw something in that product that you wanted in your home and you wanted to use it in your home and you figured, I can market this to people. I can market this to anybody. Take in mind why you're doing the business. How do you help somebody who has a problem with your solution of your product? So, any comments, please feel free to write me. I will be coming out with another video. And uh, thank you for uh, showing a lot of love. And uh, continually write to me. All right? Talk to you soon. Bye.